I'm James Marsden, and I'm in the middle of shooting season two of Westworld, which is proving to be just as profound and moving as the first. Fans often ask me how I prepare for my role of Teddy Flood, an animatronic robot that's gradually gaining consciousness. It's simple, really. I do the work. That's why I spend every weekend here, at Chuck E. Cheese's, studying, researching genuine robots. You see, my character on Westworld isn't based on any one particular pizza time player. It's an amalgam of all of them. In season one, when Teddy's tied to a tree and left for dead, that flicker of life that you see in my eyes, that's Mr. Munch, lighting up every time he launches into his piano solo on a happy dance. When my character hunts down the villainous Wyatt, I channeled the intense focus of Jasper T. Jowls as he's furiously shredding on a guitar shaped like a wedge of cheese. When preparing to interrogate the man in black, I recalled what it's like to be interrogated by Helen Henney. A little boy had lost his teddy bear and Helen had thought I'd taken it. She worked me over with a sock full of arcade tokens. When Teddy feels haunted by incomplete memories that he can't quite explain, I sought inspiration from Pasquale E. Pieplate and his expression of confusion over how he became the only human in a band full of giant animals. The best part is I'm learning from them and they're learning from me. You can't play God without being acquainted with the devil. And in the process, I'm honored to say, we've become friends. And yes, in case anyone's wondering, if you slip the janitor a C note after hours, he'll let you kiss Pasquale E. Pie Plate. Anywhere. Well, I've given you Westworld fans a peek into my process. Now it's your turn to do your part. Give generously to programs, schools, and services desperately needed to help people with autism. How'd I do? <clears throat>